Right, hello everyone. Um, today I'm with my friend Tom and we're hoping to try and mod the Mega Drive Mini. Now, I could put like all the games, the whole library of Mega Drive games. However, I want to be a bit selective of how I do it. I want to basically have on this all the games I grew up with, sort of like a reminisce on my past, basically. So like uh, already it's got quite a few decent games on there, but there's a few that we've missed. But once we get the, once we've got this modded, um, we want to try and get it fired up on this old PC. I don't know if this is going to be possible, but what do you reckon? Do you reckon we can probably do it? Yeah, it's a little bit hit and miss. Uh, the problem is we have to convert HDMI to VGA, which is the old video signal. So yeah, we'll see. I mean, it'd be awesome if it does. Yeah. If not, we've got a HDMI monitor for and backup. We, and we're going to try and get the, the sound through the old uh, sound blaster speakers too. So <laughs> this is all very alien to me. I don't know how it works, but Tom is the brains behind the, the organisation. But yeah, we're going to put some games on here. Some of the games I grew up with. A lot of the games you that we're going to put on here, you would probably think are absolute trash. Like, I do. I yeah. think they're trash, some of them. <laughs> <laughs> like Super High Delight and Corporation, if you ever played yeah. that. Absolutely abysmal. But the thing is, though, Absolutely. it's kind of like uh, my, my my history of the game, game playing because like when I was a kid and, and got these games I would often get them from car boot sales so ideally it's like kind of like see a Mega Drive game for cheap and grab it regardless of what it was and uh, unfortunately I got a few stinkers but stinkers that I remember fondly so anyway we're gonna boot this thing up get some games on it hopefully it works and hopefully we can get it working on this so uh, stay tuned let's do it I've got no idea what he's doing but he's doing something <laughs> Okay, so guys, what we've done is I've rigged up this VGA to HDMI adapter uh, into the back of the Mega Drive Mini. I'm going to cross my fingers and pray that this is going to work. And what I've plugged it into is, do you see this gateway PC? Uh, this is Will's like insane 90s machine. <laughs> and uh, check out the speakers, look. That's like, it takes me back to 1998 or something like that. So it's pretty unlikely that it's just going to fire up and work. You don't, you don't, you don't reckon this is going to work? Well, see the actual Mini, you know, full disclosure, I tested it out once on a HDMI monitor, but yeah. this is very, uh, very sketchy. But I reckon, just in case, we'll get our controllers at the ready. All right, man, let's go. So you, have, you have to play one-handed because you've got a camera. <laughs> okay, right, here's the moment of truth. It's gonna be right here. So we'll do it on yeah, three. So let's get some good news for once. Come on. Two, one. Is oh, it gonna come work? On, it's gonna work. Come on, come on. It's not we've working, got, it's not working. We've got, red, working. Light. We've got red light. You've got Wait, red it's light. It's coming on. Is it gonna work? Come on. It's not looking promising, is it? It's not showing anything. Oh, it's not worked. Oh, Whoa! Music. There we go. <laughs> but it's turned out to be the best. That's flipping cool though, man. It's awesome, isn't it? That's so, flipping cool. Yeah, I know this is your system, but you hadn't really used this much, had you? No, I have, I, I, to be honest, I, I bought this thing and I was always getting around to using it, but I never had the time because I've been playing with cardboard too much. <laughs> but now, but now like I've got, I mean, there's, there's a lot of good games on this already, mm. but I've added, I've added some absolute shite to it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we, we take you through the list of games that I like. We've got a little bit of flicker on the screen from the monitor, but it's not too bad. Okay, so Tom has kindly put on a few games for me, added a few games onto this, um, including Revenge of Shinobi. I loved that game as a kid, but I couldn't get anywhere on it. We got Streets of Rage, the original Streets of Rage, which is kind of criminal, though it wasn't on there before. Uh, we got something here, Super High Delight, oh, uh, Tom. <laughs> I just can't believe you like that game. Honestly, there's so many good role-playing games on Mega Drive, and you're like, oh, please add <laughs> Super High Delight. I, I, I know, I, I, that, I, I've, got, I've got a kind of like a, a strange love attraction to that game. Uh, and then across from that, we've got Art Alive, yeah. which is absolutely <laughs> abysmal. It's like the Mega Drive's take of like Mario Paint and it's just terrible. And then next to that, we've got Corporation, which is kind of like, I think I bought that recently for like five quid from CEX. It's never ever gone up in value that game. I but I mean, say, you, you got ripped off paying five quid for it. They should have paid you five quid to take it off. <laughs> So, yeah, I think that actually, there was there, there Desert Strike, which is flipping amazing. I love that game. 
Uh, we've got Echo, no, Echo the Dolphin was on there originally. Golden Axe 2, which is really cool. Golden Axe 2. Um, it got kind of mixed reviews when it was out, but I I liked it. Yeah, uh, I thought they, they sort of said it was too derivative, but I yeah. think it's a good game, it's a good game, especially now. And um, Splatterhouse 2 with the, uh, the Xenomorph that's completely ripped off. <laughs> but no, I, I, we all like Splatterhouse 2, come on. Uh, the Terminator. <laughs> I got that just because it's a term. I mean, I played that as a kid. It wasn't the most amazing game, but I mean, I, I you know, I, I still like it. And then we've got Mega Games 1, which is pretty much what everybody had when they first got on Mega Drive. Um, Alien 3, you know, it's iconic, and I love the Alien films. Uh, Flashback, which was not a sequel to Another World, but... Um, what was Flashback? I mean, See, I don't know the series well. Was it a prequel or was it a spin-off? No, I, I don't... I think it was a spin-off. It had nothing to do with Without This World or Another World, wherever you're from. But um, nonetheless, it was quite a cool game. But I had it on Super Nintendo first and it wasn't until much later that I got on a Mega Drive. But they're both very similar. Um, Jurassic Park or Gunstar Heroes? That, that I was, was going to say, I need to jump in at this point and say okay. you need to play Gunstar Heroes. I've, actu I've actually already played it and it's fantastic. It's a really, really good awesome, game. Awesome, is it? Top it's 10 game for me on Mega Drive. Um, yeah, it's, it's very, very good. And then we got Jurassic Park. I got this. I remember getting this game when I came back from Portugal. I ran down to a store in Guildford and picked up that game, took it home, and I was blown away the fact that you can play as a Velociraptor. It was flipping cool. <laughs> Um, we've got Mega Games 2, which is kind of like my favourite of all the Mega Games, because it's got uh, Revenge of Shinobi, which we've already actually got, and Streets of Rage, again, we've got, and then Golden Axe, which is uh, flipping awesome, man, I love that. I think what's funny is we added all of the games on Mega Game 2 onto the Mega Drive Mini, but yeah. we've also got it on there, but yeah. hey, it's nostalgia, isn't it? You this, need it. That, that's it, isn't it? We've got Pugsy, which is a very, very strange game. Mm. Um, it's a very strange game, but um, nonetheless, I mean, I grew up with it. It's, I've got to have it on the list. Uh, Robocop vs Terminator. I haven't played this much, but Tom recommended it to me. I mean, I'm a fan of the Terminator movies, the old ones at least, and a fan of Robocop 2, so it's kind of like a match made in heaven. Uh, Rocket Knight Adventures. Was that on there originally? Or? No, I added that you in. You added that on? Just because it's such a good game, I was yeah. like, Will needs to play this and have it in his life. Yeah, it's, yeah. I've, I've played it briefly before, but not enough. Um, Shinobi 3, that was on there originally. Sonic Spinball, well, that was on there originally. You, you kind of forget what games yeah. are on there. Like I'll just give you the clue, these three. Yes. All oh, controversial God. choices, all from you. Again, this is this is what I grew up with, unfortunately, guys. <laughs> I didn't have all the magazines back in the day to realise what a good game was and what a bad game was. So I got hold of Terminator 2. I, mean, I love the Terminator movies, so I got this. It's ridiculously hard. I've never got past the level where you're on the, the, the truck, whatever it is, that catches fire. Uh, Megalomania, I had, I, that came without the instruction manual, and I had no idea what to do. I just mashed buttons and eventually just uh, traded it in for something else. And in fact, I think I actually traded it in, I, coincidentally, for balls, which Aww. is absolute, absolute balls. balls. <laughs> yeah. It's terrible. And then speaking of balls, the Doom version of 32X, which I actually quite like. It's pretty much half the game, and I think the final boss is a caco demon. That's right. But um, nonetheless, it's Doom on, on Mega Drive, pretty much 32X, what we're going to call it. We've got June 2, The Battle of Arrakis. I love that game. It's before um, uh, Command & Cooker came out, but uh, yeah, I like it. Uh, Mortal Kombat 2, we put that on there. You know, it's, Mortal Kombat 2 on the Mega Drive is flipping cool. And then we got uh, Sonic 3. Is that Sonic 3 and Knuckles, Tom? Do you want to elaborate more yeah. on this one? So what I did with that, like Sonic and Knuckles and Sonic 3 were actually one game that's released in two parts. So you put them both together and you get Sonic 3 complete. This is a ROM hack uh, that just brings all of that stuff together and it's kind of the definitive version. Sweet. Uh, I just thought, you know, rather than have Sonic and Knuckles and Sonic 3. Yeah, I mean, that together, makes sense, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, have the best version. Okay. Uh, what else have we got? We've got loads of stuff, Tom. Oh, yeah. uh, we got uh, the... Uh, Star Wars Arcade on 32X. I had this and it's flip I thought it was pretty cool back in the day. We're gonna need to play that again though, man. Uh, we got Streets of Rage 3. That was on there originally, wasn't it? I no, I did that one in. I so did that one in. I just thought, you know, it's it's not the strongest game in the series, but no. you gotta have it really. Have all the Streets of Rage. Why yeah. Not? And we got Virtual Racing Deluxe. Uh, 32X game, it's not bad, is it? It's not too bad. I think that's better than the Mega Drive version. Well, that's, uh, th th it's not a high bar, to be fair, but yeah, it'd be good to play. Oh my oh, word. Zero Tolerance. Oh, I, I freaking love this game. Tom, what do you think of Zero Tolerance? I think, see the thing is, at the time, it would have been great. 
Uh, but I feel like now, when you go back and play it, it's just not that playable anymore. I don't know. I mean, said that. We I, should give it a go. We give it. We give it. A go. I, I really like Zero Tolerance, and you got Bloodshot as well, which I think is not as good as Zero Tolerance, but it's another first-person shooter on the Mega Drive. So I was always interested to see first-person shooters, and before I got Doom on the 32X, you know, this was my Doom basically. So uh, feel sorry for me. Uh, we've got uh, Knuckles Chaotix, which is a bit controversial. I don't know, is that any good, Tom? Well, it's kind of a bit janky. It's got this uh, rubber band where the two of you are like running along and you pull each other different directions. I've heard, I've heard yeah. about it, man, and I'm not sure, but we'll give it a go. Uh, we've got Metalhead, which is flipping weird and a bit dated, but um, it's one of the first games I had on the, the, the 32X, so I had to have it on this list. Uh, Mortal Kombat 3, that, oh, yeah. was, that was Christmas. Um, that was Christmas 1994. 1995 maybe I got that I can't remember but um oh man that was a, that was a good Christmas it's a shame this Christmas is gonna suck <laughs> well not now you've got this you well yeah that's it that's yeah. it I'm sorted for Christmas we got Rise of Robots another game which is absolutely <laughs> yeah. terrible I had a really bad childhood guys but I mean like Rise of Rise of the Rise of Robots not not great but I loved it back in the day I liked robots and I liked fighting so you know another match made in heaven and then Road Rash 3 man yeah. that was sick sorry you had, you had I was some... gonna say what's cracking me up about this mini is you've got some of the best games ever on the Mega Drive and then next to it you've got Rise of the Robots so that is like known as one of the best games Fantasy Star Fantasy 4. Star 4 yeah and you've got Rise of the Robots <laughs> which is just such a bad game and I feel like no one else's mini will be anything like yours well, really good that's good that, that's yeah. Good that's, good, like that's, that's, that's a quality. It's shit against good stuff. <laughs> yeah. And then we've got Road Rash 3, which is like, I like that game. I really like that game. I think it's probably my favourite out of the trilogy. Uh, and then finally, that's, uh, that looks like it's about it. We've got Darius. Yeah, yeah so that, um, that was another game that only came out in 2019. Uh, they made it for the Mini. So sometimes you still get Mega Drive games being made now. This one was made by an independent developer and then polished a bit by the people that brought out the Mini. So it's quite cool. It's a generic shooter, but... There you go, bonus. kids. Yeah. Darius, I've got it now. That's it. Uh, and that's it. That's that's all my stuff. So what we're going to do now is play a few games and uh, just have a bit of a bit of a have a good time. So Tom, what are you going to play this time? Well, I feel like I should give this go. Not I've, ne yeah. I've never seen this before. So you tell I, me what you think. I've of this. barely played it myself, so I kind of feel like actually this is a good one to go with. Okay. So it has got two player, but I, th I think two player's a bit cumbersome, so I'll jump in. Okay. So I can turn down the music a bit, because otherwise you're not going to be able to we hear are, me. We're, we're, playing, we're playing it with the sound blasters on. <laughs> yeah. It's so cool, man. It's Actual so cool. 90 speakers. They're great, but they've got a bit of a hum. So this is, uh, like, basically it was a spin-off of uh, Knuckles. Uh, he's got his own game that only came out on 32X, and I always felt like it was the long-lost Sonic game. Yeah. All week. You can hear the music is actually quite, well, maybe not this particular track, but... It's quite cool, but I was just quite intrigued to give it a go. It's the kind of thing I never had the chance to actually play on back in the days. So here we go, this is Knuckles Chaotix. So you can see, it's kind of like a standard uh, Sonic game in some ways at the beginning. So I'm playing as Knuckles, he's doing Knucklesy things, I'm gliding around, all pretty boring. And then out of nowhere, here's Eggman. So we're still at the kind of intro. It looks pretty good to me. Graphically, it's like actually really cool. Um, yeah, I think it's, so you can see here it starts to do some kind of 32X oh, wow. things. He's like scaling in and out. Metal Sonic was always like the top oh, yeah, tier character, wasn't he? That's really yeah. cool. But I must admit, I'm kind of playing this and I'm like, I want to get in the game, I want to get in the game. I don't want to just see Eggman flying around. All right, here we go. We're getting in. So there's a tutorial. Let's get, let's get rid of that. Okay, here we go. I just think it's cool that we can even play uh, 32X games on here. There you go, look. So Knuckles has gone big now, which you can never do back in the oh, old ones. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, because that's the kind of thing the Mega Drive wouldn't have been able to do. So the whole kind of gimmick of it, do you see there's a band in between the two of us? Yeah. And I'm running to the right, he's to the left. Yeah, you kind of have to use that to get around the levels and stuff, which is why I thought it might be a good two-player game. So maybe that's at some really point we could give that a go. That is really cool, so that's actually, an interesting man. idea. Yeah, I don't know how well it works out. So you can see what I'm doing controller-wise. I'm holding down B. Yeah. So you see there I did like, uh, I used like the momentum to push myself forward. But I really like, uh, I don't know how well it's coming across in the video, but this music I always think is really cool as well. Like it's got quite a good, I always like game music, but I feel like the Knuckles Chaotix stuff is like particularly good. But yeah, you can see what I'm having to do, look, is get, so I can hold him, hold him there, I'll run that way. There we go. That's cool, man. Yeah, isn't it? It's not actually, it's nowhere near as bad 
no, I thought it was. People make out it's like a rubbish game, but I don't Whoa, think it is. that's so cool. Yeah, it's kind of just Sonic with like some new gimmicks, really. Yeah, it is, isn't it? But I always loved Sonic games, so, you know, why would I not love this, basically? Yeah, so you can see like Knuckles can do all this stuff like climbing and pulling the other character along. Yeah. No, I think this is this is actually really quite inventive. You can do things like if you jump on this one, you shrink. So I'm like midget knuckles now. Oh, now I'm big again. <laughs> bring, bring. Yeah, it's quite cool, isn't it? Yeah. So that's what you're doing. Isn't it? Yeah, I don't always play games this way, but I feel like this one it kind of works to hold the controller that way. So yeah. I've got B to hold the character in place. That makes him just stand still so that I can use the rubber band mechanic. And then the jumping, well yeah it's just jumping, it's just Sonic, but... So you see there like, I'm holding him in place, I'm building up momentum, and if I release B, yeah. he comes along with me, so it's like, uh, you have to use the rubber band to your advantage in the game. I think that's why people don't like it, to be fair, because they all want it to play like it's a traditional game, but... Yeah, but instead they've gone with the rubber band mechanic, which, it takes a lot of learning, but... Yeah, but yeah, it works out works. in the end. Right, so I haven't played this loads. I, I think I did finish it once, but it was one of those, like, I used save states and didn't yeah. really... Yeah, I've always wanted to play it and give it a bit more time, and yeah, it feels good. I mean, that's one of the good things with the minis. It's like, if there's a game you haven't played, you can play it on there and give it a good go. Yeah. So what do you want to play next, Tom? I'm uh, going to choose Alien 3 now. I mean, Alien 3, everyone knows Alien 3 on Mega Drive, but the thing is though, man, I'm actually a fan of the film as well, and that's a bit controversial, but I actually really like Alien 3. And I like the game, so... Um, let's give it a go and see if it holds up as best... I, I, again, I haven't played this game in quite a while. Oh, that it's kind of takes me back. It is really good, this game. The music is brilliant. Presentation is fantastic, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> and that is so cool. The music's so good. Oh, it really takes me back, this game. Which is better, the game or the movie? <laughs> can you really compare them? I don't know if you can compare them. What you can compare is what's better, the Super Nintendo version or the Mega Drive version. And I don't yeah. know. I don't know. The, the, the Super Nintendo version is kind of like uh, free roaming, whereas this one's kind of like save all the prisoners. But this one just feels a bit more raw, and the the the, the Super Nintendo ones feels a little bit more polished. So I don't know. It's kind of like and I, I, I'm terrible at this game as well. <laughs> Absolutely terrible. We save the prisoner. But this is like the film is very different to the game. This is, I think what they wanted to do is they wanted to do Aliens, but the fact Alien 3 was coming out, they kind of thought it'd be best to sort of, if they wanted uh, sales, have Alien 3, and that would, um, that might bring them a few more sales, because Alien 3 was just coming out, you know? Sorry, I'm, as I'm talking, as I'm talking, I'm uh, playing the game, and I don't, I, uh, it's often quite hard for me to play a game and talk at the same time. But the fire suck, looks, looks terrible in this game. The fire looks great on the SNES version. Music's cool, isn't it? Yeah, the music's great. So good. But yeah, that's Alien 3. We've all seen it before on Mega Drive. And if you haven't seen Mega, Mega, uh, Alien 3 on Mega Drive before, then where have you been? <laughs> cool. We're going to try uh, Rocket Knight Adventures. I've never really played this game much, but it's Konami, so it's got to be good, right? Yeah, it was kind of Konami's attempt at doing a Sonic game okay. uh, of sorts, but I just think it works so well. Like, they did such a good job with the graphics, the music, the gameplay. Uh, yeah, we'll just do kind of stage one, just to give you an idea of what it's about. I don't even know what difficulty it's on. It might be hard for all I know. So you can see you've got all these kind of cutscenes. That's the main oh, character, yeah, Sparkster. Man. Yeah, he's, he's a cool... I think they did a good job designing him. So you can tell already, just from this, the presentation, that this is going to be a good game. Yeah, like yeah, it does look good. So the basic mechanic of it is, do you see up in the top left, yeah. uh, there's that bar. Yeah. Well, that powers up my rocket, and then I can fly through the sky like that. So it's kind oh, of a okay. platformer. And there's a few different moves you can do with it, but yeah, that's... So it's quite a simple gameplay style, but it just works really well. I'm playing really badly here. <laughs> <laughs> It kind of reminds me a little bit of like a cartoony version of Metal Slug or something. Actually, yeah, I can see that. Do you know what I mean? It's got a very similar feel to it. Like the animations are similar. Yeah. The music's got that feel to it. And yeah, like gameplay wise, it's 
It doesn't feel like there's there's a very certain style that Konami had, and it definitely feels like a Konami game. To yeah. Me, even though it's cartoony. I, I must I say I, I'm sorry about the flickering with the monitor, but there's nothing really really we can do about that, unfortunately. Yeah. To be fair, you know, it kind of comes to the territory. If you're going to use old school monitors, then you do end up with this. But I think it's worth it because you get such a better appearance. Yeah. Uh, I mean. This just looks amazing on here. I, it does. I don't know how it comes across on film. I mean, but like, it, it looks, looks really. So I mean, good. Let's, let's, let's stand back a bit and look at the, the whole set. It, it does look really cool, my little set, and I think this working. It's ironic because, like, it, you know that expression, like one man's trash is another man's treasure. Like yeah. a lot of people would just chuck out a monitor like this, go like, oh, it's old and rubbish. But no, it's genuinely it works so well for retro games. Yeah, it really does. Take a few, Tom. <laughs> Take a few. Take, Take a, a few. few. I'm just getting so into it. That's why I'm standing up. I'm like, I <laughs> actually love this game. So yeah, so that's Rocket Knight. So that's the basics of it. So you can see, I mean, this first stage is almost like an intro level of sorts. Yeah. Oh, here we go. We've got a Konami-style boss to fight. You can see there's a bit of slowdown here because uh, more because of the waves in the background. Man, it's really good. Yeah, you should definitely give this one a go, I reckon. I actually had this game before, no way. but I didn't really play it much. Hence why I kind of sold my game collection. So I found out I wasn't really playing the games because I was, I was so afraid of kind of like damaging these these games that cost so much. And yeah, I, sure. I did. It came more. It, it started to become more about kind of preserving these games and making sure I take care of them as opposed to actually playing them. Which is so good that the, the mini console came out that I can just. Yeah. You know, play it a lot more easily without having to worry about, you know, damaging the cardboard or manual or whatever. Which yeah. is a bit of a silly way to think in some ways. I think I'm quite lucky in that, like, my attachment is to the actual colours and the sprites and the music and all of that. Yeah. Rather than to yeah. the packaging. Uh, like, I do have a lot of my original games, uh, like, still in their packaging and everything back home. But yeah. Yeah, but I find for me, like, I'm quite happy to just either fire up a mini, uh, fire up the PC, or even use, like, a flash cart and. As long as I've got like the game running with the music, the characters, then yeah, I'm back to that place. I've got like Super Hide Light on here, but I won't play that. Um, I've got Doom on 32X. Now, I was quite impressed with this when I played it last, but let's see if it's held up throughout the test of time. Getting used to controls. So this is Doom on 32X. Uh, this gets a lot, of, a lot, of, a bit of a bad rap to be fair, this game, but um, I don't know. It, I always, always had a soft spot for it. I mean, it is Doom after all. And, and, <laughs> But it's just the music, listen to the music. We're playing on Sound Blasters, if I didn't already mention. So yeah, Doom. We're gonna have to go on I'm Too Young to Die. I'll just complete the first level, see how long I can do it. But I, the frame rate is actually better than I remember. Has it, has it, for anybody that has Doom on 32X and has it actually on the 32X rather than emulation, I'd love to know if it actually looked this good, because I'm surprised. I mean, the music is awful, but the graphics aren't bad and the frame rate's damn good. But yeah, I don't know how well you can see this, how well it's coming out from camera, but like, uh... It honestly looks like you're just playing the PC version. That's how good it looks. I don't know if I'd go that far, man, but... It's, it's, it's not bad, man. It's not bad. I mean, admittedly, it'd be like a really bad PC, but still. Do they, can, you, can you blow them up? Can you turn them inside out? I'm interested to see that. Oh, yeah, I think all that works. So you get the rocket launcher. Yeah, does it? Oh, we're being, we're being shot behind us. Quick, get the... F <laughs> ah! I'm, I'm terrible. I'm terrible at Doom. How ironic. <laughs> oh, no. 75% kills. Item 60%. All right, that was no okay. No secrets. No secrets at all. So that was Doom. That awful, awful music. We're going to play something else. What do you want to go for, Tom? Ah, oh, bro. I think it's got to be the classic, the ultimate Revenge of Shinobi. Yeah, play that. Play that. Such That's a tough game. That is one of the new games we put on, isn't it? Yeah. So We've I'm got to... shocked that wasn't on the Mega Drive Mini. Yeah, me too. It's... I love that intro as well. I'm sorry, I skipped it. I no, don't, like, don't, don't so worry, don't worry. I've, I've seen that many times before, but it's, yeah, it's so cool. There is a uh, unlimited shuriken cheat that I often used to do, but I'm going to leave that off. I'm going to play it old school here. I, yeah, I, I never got very far game. on it. I was only ever play because I had Mega Games Two, and this was the game I played the least. Really? Yeah, I never really played this game much, but I really I, I loved it though. But I just I could never get very far, and I always found Streets of Rage and Golden Axe more fun. Let's this see. is definitely uh, 
how Tom holds his control his controller pad. I didn't I, I didn't ever hold him like that. I don't always. It sort of depends on the game. So most of the time I hold it like this with like a claw get grip. Yeah. But this one depends very much on just two buttons. Yeah. I, I so find for that there's like better timing. So you notice that jump there, the somersault. A lot of people find that really tough. But because I got it held like this, it's a bit easier to get the combination on this game. Yeah. It's such a good game. The music's really good to this one too. It's, it's done good, by uh, it? Yuzo Koshiro, who's the guy who did Streets of Rage. Probably the best composer of all time. Really? Better than Mozart. Better definitely. than Mozart and yeah. Vivaldi. And Beethoven and all of those guys. They've got nothing on Yuzo Koshiro. <laughs> Don't kill the dog. Oh. Sorry, no. man. I know it's Wilson's distant cousin, but kind of had to be done. There's a heart up there, but I'm already on maximum health, so... That was a nice short level. Yeah, nice short level. Nice short it's kind and of like sweet. An intro, so yeah. And then the next stage is very similar. So yeah, that's Revenge of Shinobi. Revenge of Shinobi, good one. Did you I, ever see Shinobi Three: Return of the Ninja Master? I never, I never played that. So just <sighs> if you want to check it out. Yeah, that's deadly. It's very similar to that last game. Uh, the music isn't as good because that one's definitely got. I'd say the top Mega Drive soundtracks are that and Streets of Rage. Uh, they're probably the best ones. And Fantasy Star Four, that's got really good music too. Okay. So yeah, I don't know what it is, but I just love the the soundtracks to these games. Shinobi. So it's very like Revenge of Shinobi already, isn't it? Like the intro. This is a uh, direct sequel to that game. But yeah, they added in some stuff. So look, I can run. Oh, that's do like a running. Oh wow. So it's kind of like an upgraded Revenge of Shinobi in some ways. You still got that somersault move. Still got a lot of the same things you can do. Visually, this one is a lot nicer. Yeah, this one is. Like, I mean, this was a late Mega Drive game, whereas Revenge was an early one. I feel yeah. like there was about four or five years between the two games. Um, I actually think this is one of the best Mega Drive games. Uh, there's a lot of people argue about which is better, Revenge of Shinobi or this. For me, I kind of like them both. It's like choosing between your two children. Not that I have two <laughs> children. Or at least not two children that I know about. Um, but yeah, this one's really, really a good game. You're still going for the uh, the claw grip when you're playing the yeah, game? Yeah, I am. Yeah. I don't always. It's like, I don't know what it is about today. Normally Mega Man is a game I'd always play like this. Yeah. You can do things like, look there, you see I blocked. Ooh. So I blocked him and then just shot it back at him. So if you hold down B, you do a block move in this game, which is a real, like if you know what you're doing, there's quite a few little tricks here. So here I'm just going to block him and then shoot back. Is this a boss? It's kind of a mini boss would be what I'd describe him as. It's very easy. Oh, <laughs> Two okay. hits. But then that is kind of because I know what I'm doing. So I'll just show a bit more of this game because this level gets really... Oh, I got hit. First hit. So yeah, you can do things like this. Look, you hang on to a rope, then hang on to a ceiling. Oh, cool. Wall bounce too. So it's a bit more like Ninja Guide and... Yeah, I was just sort of like a sort of grasp onto things. I feel like this is... Um, if they made a proper 16-bit uh, Ninja Gaiden or Gaiden or however you say it game... Oh, I can't believe I got hit there. What is the way you say it? Is it down to preference? I'm, I honestly have no idea. I feel like it might be a uh, Japanese name, Gaiden or Gaiden. I think it means side story, but I don't know what the pronunciation is. Um, yeah, I normally say... What do I normally say? I think I always used to say Gaiden, and now I'd say Gaiden. I think Gaiden sounds better than Gaiden. Yeah. <laughs> but what about you? How would you say it? <sighs> I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I feel like it's one of those games that I never used to hear many people talk about until I got on the internet. But I actually used to, used to have um, Ninja Gaiden for the Master System. And that was a really cool version. Like, not many people know that even exists. Um, but that's a really cool game. So, yeah, so anyway, this is um, Revenge of Sh uh, sorry, Shinobi Free Return of the Ninja Master. Sweet. You can see there's a lot more you can do with it. Yeah. And the I... ball bouncing's really cool. I feel like you'd like this one more than Revenge. I think I like Revenge because of just the nostalgia, to be fair. But this yeah. one looks, uh, ideally, looks a bit more cleaner. cleaner I'll show you one last thing, which is the uh, the ninja magic. So you press start and you can choose the different magic. I okay. never normally use one here, but I'm just going to show it so you get a feel for it. So it's a oh, bit like Golden sweet. Axe. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Whoa. Pull in different magic for when there's enemies everywhere. So I'll, do, I'll use all my magics that I've got. Um, yeah, okay. What's this one? This one just, um, this one's weird, right? So you do it, and then what he does is he stabs himself. Oh, just commits seppuku. Commits suicide. But when he does it, he gets all his health back. So you lose a life look, so life goes, but you regain full health if you've lost some. So yeah, so it's quite good. If you've got like loads of lives and you're on a boss, it's like a really helpful way to do it. Mm. That works in Revenge of Shinobi as well. So yeah, that was a cool game. Yeah. All right, um, are you filming? 
I am filming. Okay. We're gonna, I'm going to show you cooperation. Now, this is not a uh, first person shooter in the Mega Drive, however, this one is pretty bad. If you've played this game before, you'll probably agree with me. If not, I, I don't know. It's, it's just, I, it was bad back then for me, and it's probably worse now. But what's it say? A first person shooter that requires you to think things through rather than just attack everything that moves. This game pre uh, precedes Wolfenstein. Pre preceded Wolfenstein 3D by a number of years, uh, while the walls were not uh, ray cast and solid uh, filled polygons, it was still one of the earliest simulations. That's uh, actually pretty impressive. If it was before Wolf 3D, that was often thought of as the the first of the first person shooters. That's actually pretty impressive. Pretty impressive. <laughs> but um, but an like, abomination to play. It's, 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 it's like living in a cardboard box, this game. And I'm used to that sort of thing. <laughs> yeah. But like, but, but um, I mean the music, man. That's awful. Oh. Imagine being trapped in a it room. Is. It's like trap, and the, the music doesn't stop. The music doesn't stop. You start the game and it continues. It's one of those games, like Ghostbusters and NES. And look, that, that's how you start. That, that's, that's, we walk through this office door into another gray area. What's that, a landmine? Is that a landmine? I, oh no, it's some sort of drink? I don't know, we picked up something. And you go around throwing uh, balls at people. Speaking of balls, we do have balls on the Mega Drive, which we could play. But if you notice that Tom's selection of games that he plays are probably better than the ones I do. But you go around shooting robots and shooting, uh, and shooting, uh, Security cameras in a very, very boring complex. I'm, I'm done. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm done. Man, that was a short playthrough. Yeah. Literally just couldn't stand it, could you? N no. <laughs> okay, you're gonna try out virtual, virtual Racing Deluxe. This is on 32X. You recommended this one to me? Yeah, well, I just, uh, I kind of felt like you needed a really good racing game on there. Okay. Now, whether it's a really good one or just generic, we'll find out. But uh, the only other racing game on there is Outrun, which I feel like we should give that a go. Just for, yeah. Uh... yeah, definitely. Oh, wow, look at this. Early Whoa. 3D. <laughs> Virtual Racing. Virtual oh Racing. <laughs> it's talking to us. Oh, it's got two player verses. I'll, 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 watch, I'll watch you play for the moment. Just intimidate. So you can choose different cars. In the first virtual racing, you only have formula. You can get prototype, stock, or formula. I'll go formula. Automatic transmission. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh wow! Look at it. Look at those people. Oh my god! It's amazing. It's already. They look so it. lifelike, man. Yeah. I mean, I thought I was just watching a movie for a moment there. I like <laughs> the skid marks in the, in the on the track. That's really cool. Yeah. Graphically, it always looked good. I mean, um. I this just this looks really good. Of, have you not seen this before? No, I've never seen this, man. You know this was on the Mega Drive as well, and it wasn't that different to this. Really? This is, this is ever so slightly better, but... Man, I would have loved this back in the day. Yeah, this was really fun. Like, I rented it one time. Yeah, look, I've changed my grip this time around. You've, you've, gone, you've gone for the normal grip, the grip that I use. My signature grip that everyone uh, probably else uses. In the entire world. Whoa, spinning around. This is really good. It's cool, isn't it? I am most impressed. Time bonus! Yeah, Tom's getting, I Tom is in his, in, in his element. Yeah, every time I play. So yeah. Excellent. That is virtual racing. That's virtual racing. Oh my dear, that front flip. For. What the hell? I thought I'd try and flip it. Let's see if we can do that again. I think ah, I didn't get it that time. I nearly though. flipped my car today. Right, next we're playing is Zero Tolerance. This game, like a lot of people say, you, you say, Tom, this game hasn't aged too well, but um, I, I love it. There was just, for me, this game, let me start it up. For me, this game, there was just so much to it. It's like when Jude Nukem came out. Like, when Jude Nukem came out, you could have a jetpack, you could have the steroids and all that sort of thing. In this, you can have like, it's kind of like the same. It's like a first person shooter, but like, you can have like, fire extinguishers to turn off to sort of put out fires and there's a lot of different sort of variation. I, I, I really like this game now, I, but, it, but it hasn't <laughs> aged the best. Techno pop! The thing is for me, I can respect it within its own time, you know? Yeah. Like, I mean this cutscene, look at that. 
Yeah, I mean, that's that's pretty good for Mega Drive, man. It's very good. Yeah, they yeah. really use the colours well and everything. So here's, here's the bad dude. We got, yeah. We've got Weasel. His name's Weasel. And he's, he's, he doesn't look like it, but he's got studied 14 styles of, of uh, martial arts. So, uh, and you've got the Psycho. Let's this, this be the Psycho. I was him before, wasn't I? Psycho. Look at him. He looks like a... He looks like a psycho. It does look like Crime Watch. He was, born in, he was born in 1961, I gather. Or is that 2061? Yeah. No, that is... 61. I was thinking about that. So he'd be like 70 or 80 now, wouldn't he? <laughs> yeah, and this he'd is set in the, old man. And this is set in the future. <laughs> oh, yeah, good point. So, um... <laughs> Do you think it's like a demolition man or something? He's come back from suspended I, animation. I don't I don't know, but oh, I love the shotgun in this though. And look, if you get up close, you can blow people against the flipping wall and blow their guts out. Look at that! <laughs> Look at that, that's awesome. It's funny man, seeing it again, I realise it's better than I thought it was. Yeah, a lot of these games, you play them today and they are better than what you thought they were. Oh Christ, here we are, we're gonna bloody die, aren't we? I am I, I am terrible at video games though guys, I'm, I, I like video games, but I'm terrible at them. There you go. But yeah, look at, look at it, man. I mean, it's not the best, but look, you've got blood sliding down the walls. You can actually shoot holes in walls as well. Look at this one. Look, look at that. Oh yeah. You can shoot holes in walls. There's just little things in that, like attention to detail that, you know, that you didn't really see back then. And I thought it was quite impressive. I think it's one of those where I respect it in its time, but I wouldn't be able to play it for long now. I think that's what I mean when I say... Yeah, I, I, I can respect that. It is like you're looking through someone's letterbox at a first-person shooter. Yeah. But, I mean, that's that's zero tolerance. I, I like it. And, um, yeah, on, on to the next game. So Tom is going for Super Fantasy Zone. Is that right? Yeah, it's not as a... Uh, well, it kind of is as weird as it sounds, but it's not, not I've, I've played this. It's absolutely brilliant. It's so, it's so, so colourful and amazing. It's tough, but... It, yeah, it's very tough, but it, it, it looks great. I'd say it's like, it's challenging. That would be the term to use. Like yeah. It's, yeah, because you get tough when it's like unbalanced. This game's pretty balanced. Uh, there's a couple of things that I find annoying in it, but yeah, it and is a great game. Another friend of mine called Tom, who has a channel Sega Head, showed me this game. Yeah, it's, it's, a good, it's, it's a good one, man. It's a good one. Yeah, this was actually, like, Opa Opa, the character in this. The, sorry, I rephrased that. The spaceship is called Opa Opa. And he was Sega's mascot uh, before Sonic. Really? A lot of people think it was Alex Kidd, but it was actually this spaceship. Opa you know? Opa. Yeah, it's so weird. Like the whole there's a whole storyline to this game where uh, your father's gone missing, and it turns out he's coordinating all of these enemies behind the scenes. And it's like, what? It's so uh, it's like it's the most Japanese thing ever. I think this game, but. Yeah, I mean, it's very but cute. It's, it's a cute em up, isn't it? That's cute what they call it. Yeah, that's right. I do. I've got a bit of a soft spot for the cute ones. Whoa, that's awesome. Yeah, very Halloweeny. Yeah, that's I love I love the way that's that that's um, drawn. Yeah, I managed to beat the that's game amazing. a few times. It's kind of like a bit dynamite heady esque. Yeah, I, I think you're the, right. In, on in that. the art style. But yeah, it's actually a really big Sega franchise. This one. This is where Sega Whoa, really didn't play their cards well because they had all these amazing games. This is awesome. So and you, then, you can buy all the buy all the parts for the. That's right. Yeah. So I'm just trying to decide what to get for fighting the boss. I might go, I'll just do this one level and then we'll try a different game. Okay. Because um, obviously, you know, we can't play everything. No, this is sort of like just a, a taster of all these different games we've yeah, played. Yeah, that's it. Kids. So I've gone a bit mad and got the seven way shot. You don't really need it on this level, but look, see now I've got that as my oh, shot. Oh, wow. So you can see like I'm pretty much just owning the entire level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that yeah. costs me a serious amount of money. So normally you save up. But you're pretty sorted and you can make some more money from obviously having that. Well that's it, and there's things like the quicker you destroy the bases, the bigger the money they give you is. Like there's, there's loads of like, um, yeah, little touches in this game. That's what I mean when I say I think it's a very balanced game. Like even though it's tough, it's like it's it's a challenging tough. You know? Yeah, like, yeah. There's ways of, a bit like any game, a bit like when you play Splatterhouse, I was like, oh, you know, he's actually doing, getting really far here. Well, similar to this game, you know, if you know what you're doing, your tactics and stuff, then it's not too bad. I've got like a, some kind of special weapon, but I'm not sure what it does, so we're going to find out. So this is the uh, second boss we're on to now. Ah, oh, okay. So... You can see what I'm going to do, like, it's just... You've gone for the, 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 the claw grip again. Back to the dreaded like... claw grip. So yeah, like, uh, like I was saying about patterns, it's actually a fairly simple pattern to this boss. Yeah. So you can see I'm almost taking him out now. There we go. And then nice. when he dies, I get all the money. Yeah, get that money. 
Awesome. So yeah, that's nice. Fantasy that's, zone. that's Fantasy Zone. It's a cool game. Oh, this music's changed up. We got Splathouse too. We can we can give that a go. Yeah, I'll keep I'll keep rolling in the films. Yeah. Right? We give Splatterhouse two a go. I, lo I love this game. It reminds me of kind of like all the old horror movies, like Evil Dead and and uh, you know Jason Voorhees and the Friday the Thirteenth films. I'm a big horror. Mo I, I love horror movies, so this is a good one. And the intro to this was always, always awesome as well. And like you had blood and guts in the Mega Drive game. And I, I mean, I know I know that like uh, the Mega Drive is pretty uncensored when it came to video games, but um, this went that extra mile, man, and I liked it. Oh shit. That freaked me out as a kid, man. Hmm. She doesn't have to die, Rick. They say die in a video game. That's a taboo. Flipping cool. Right, let's go and kick some zombie bastards into and splat them against the wall. Here we go. And look, the best thing about this game is if you press up, right, you can have a piss. <laughs> you can actually piss on rotting zombies. Here we go. So kick, boom. I'm not, I'm not too bad at this game. I'm, I'm terrible at most video games, but this one I'm not too bad at. Oh, so I say that. I'm gonna at least kill the first boss. Get the pole, press down, and splat. That was, I remember seeing that for the first time. Oh man, that was a fond memory. <laughs> that guy you don't have to worry about. He just goes from. How far do you think you uh, got in this back in the day? Did you ever finish it? Oh, I came close. I came close to finishing it. I got to the la I think the last level where you where you all oh, crap, all oh, crap, where you um you have to get fight the octopus a second time. But I I didn't get past it, and I nearly got it. I threw a four. You have to throw these fawns into the octopus's eye, and uh, unfortunately I missed. I missed it and died. But I was close to beating it, man. Altered Beast is another game I never completed. But. I Look at all the blood and guts around here, man. It's flipping brutal. It was banned in... I think this game was banned in Germany, of all places. And uh, there was other games. Like you said, Mortal Kombat never came out in Germany either, didn't you, Tom? Yeah, we just chatted about this earlier. I need to check the facts, but yeah, I'm pretty sure some of those games just never even came out over there because of censorship. Yeah, and, uh, and this was one of them. Yeah. The other one was uh, the Contra games became Probotector, and that was largely because of Germany. Like that would have been fine in the UK to release yeah. Contra, but not in Germany. So I'll play one. I'll play one more game. I don't know what to play. Maybe maybe something. I'll try, I'll try and find something half decent to play. What about? Hmm. Super Highlight. There we go. Really get, <laughs> you said something half decent, and then you said Super Highlight. We got balls. We can't get balls to work though. But I really want to play it. Attempt to play it one. Try and get it to play one more time. Balls to balls. More combat free. Oh, okay. We're gonna play something excellent. We're gonna play Rise of Robots. Oh dear. No, the thing is, I, oh, I, I back in the day, I liked this game. It's not until people said that it was terrible that I went, oh yeah, it's pretty bad. But no, I actually quite, I actually quite like this. I'm, well, I, 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 I'm aware that it's bad, but I've got a sort of a, a nostalgic soft spot for it. It's one of those games where kind of like nostalgia overrules the fact that this game is terrible. <laughs> There's a few games like that for me. One of mine was uh, Deep so Cap Attack. That was one that was always bad, but I liked. What's this music doing? I do not know. The, the music was flipping bad. This, it's super, super 90s. Super 90s, this game. Looks like, reminds me of kind of like um, uh, Another World and... and it's that kind of pre-rendered yeah, stuff, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it reminds me of like flashback type thing this intro. But I thought this was cool. You can't you can't deny the intros are pretty cool. Yeah, for their time, definitely. I mean <laughs> they still hold up well actually, looking yeah, at it. Not bad. I like the way the music speeds up and slows down because it's so demanding on the hardware. <laughs> oh yes. Boo, boo, boo. Yeah, like that. <laughs> okay. Enemy approaching. I guess we don't get to select a character to fight. We just you just stay as the, the same character. You can't. I think you can be different characters in this game. But if you play it single player, you can only be this stupid flipping that oh, thing. That dude. Yeah, yeah. that dude. Is and I all. Oh, it looks a bit like Pepsi Man. I don't know if you played that. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I've seen that. It just. Right, I'm gonna try and win. Are you? 
He does that jumpy thing, it's just like... It just annihilates you. And confetti flies out of him. Well, good choice of game, Will. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> I mean what? The timer's going out already? What? They don't give you long to... And that's it! That's Rise of the Robots! That's my childhood! It's probably in the top five best Mega Drive games of all time. Best? <laughs> best right. to mock, I think. Yeah. The most renowned Mega Drive is. I don't even know how you block in this. Is it like that stupid idea where they pre you press start to... Oh, I really hope not. I always hate that. I want to kick his ass. Right, I've got my health here, I'm gonna back off. We've got six, six. Get away from me, get away from me. To give it its due, like the, the graphics actually look quite good on here. Yeah, they do, they do. Cyborg. Rims. I like the reflection in the floor, which is just basically good. Yeah, that's cool. I reckon I've got him. Look at that. Classic corner trap. <laughs> I feel like this game because like it makes me feel like I'm winning from doing very little. That's why I liked it. I'm literally just doing that, by the way, guys. <laughs> yeah. I'm literally just doing that. That's all I'm doing. I think I've got him. Oh no, I haven't! No! Oh! oh man. See, I enjoy myself. <laughs> well, that's that's my Mega Drive Mini. We had lots of fun, especially, look at that, he's got a flipping hole in his face. Oh man, brutal. Yeah, that is pretty brutal. You see his brain in there. Right, that's my Mega Drive Mini. I hope you liked this video. If you'd like to see more of me and Tom playing video games, we are thinking of uh, modding my Super Nintendo and uh, going to be modding the Famicom as well to play some more games of our childhood. So um, if you want to know more about the awful games I used to play back in the day, uh, feel free to give this a like and let us know what, maybe some, play some of your games too. So um, take care everybody and I'll see you once again for more late night reviews. Good night. <laughs>